The core value mission was something that we did in, the, in this last year. The company's always had core values, uh, but we made a real effort to identify them this year. And that has been a tremendous asset to our organization because what we're realizing is you can have the right skill set, but if you don't have our core values, um, you, may, you may be a good fit somewhere else, but you're not going to be a good fit here. When we sat down and came up with our core values, it was really important with our leadership team that we uh, yin and yang and tried to figure out what our exact core values that define this company were. And Teamwork was one of the first ones that was thrown out there because we believe there's no I in team. Uh, reputation is a, it's a pretty strong word for us. When we're done paving a road, we want people to hit it and go, how can we pave that job? Um, when we're done you know, grading or, or uh, moving a bunch of dirt, we want people to know just by our reputation and the product that we put out that, that we did the job. And, and we're very proud of our name. Uh, my uncle Bob you know, founded this company back in 1972. Their motto when they, they started it was, we believe in customer satisfaction. Um, I think we still are that way today, even though we're a low bid construction company. Um, it, it still is uh, very important that we, when we're done, that you're very happy with the product we give you, even in a low bid competitive market. We're excited to try and bring on more younger employees. We're trying to reach that, that new market and and try and get people interested in construction. It's a heck of a lot more fun than sitting in a cubicle. Um, it's, uh, it's, you get to be outdoors a lot. You get to be proud of what you have built every day, which, uh, you know, I think, this, I think this current culture sometimes lacks that. You know, we're, a lot of the industry now is service oriented and, you know, how many cups of coffee did you sell during the day? And that's great, I'm, I think that's a terrific thing, but it's something completely different to be able to say, we built that and that's gonna be here for the next 100 plus years. Uh, being involved in that kind of um, thing, I think is special and not a lot of people get to participate in that. The need for local quarries, you know, we talked about jobs, we talked about sustainability for the communities, but the reality is it's also the best environmental um, plan to work around local local quarries because of the reduced use of trucking. Um, the further the, the further you're having to bring the materials, the more trucking, uh, which is, you know, trucks generate emissions as well. And so you're reducing the carbon footprint by utilizing more local, local quarries. When we're producing asphalt, we're recycling between 15 and 25% of all of the material that we're putting out, which Asphalt is, according to the National Asphalt Pavement Association, is the number one recycled product in the world. I think the biggest one is people see the emissions that are coming off of an asphalt plant. You think, you know, you know I'm talking layman's terms, of basically dinosaur blood. It's a bunch of tar that comes in there and they're just pouring it into that plant. It's just gotta be blowing black smoke everywhere and, and, and polluting the environment. And you can only imagine the amount of pollution we're putting up in the air. And you see it coming off the stack and it looks like smoke and it's really steam. So it's 99.9% .9 efficient. Uh, it's usually our bag houses meet a quarter of what the EPA requires for emissions. So I think that's probably the biggest misconception we see is people think we're polluting the environment and we're not. Well, I'm very proud to be involved in something that I believe is environmentally friendly. It's doing everything it can and industry-wise to get better and better and better. And we're doing our part to try and be um, environmentally friendly and keep our industry on the cutting edge of doing things best practices for the environment. If you're a type of person that's looking for an opportunity to be part of something greater than yourself, uh, I think this is an excellent place to consider coming to work. We're interested in people that want to work hard and take pride in what they're doing, do it in a teamwork oriented atmosphere and really feel good about what they accomplished at the end of the day. I would say if you're looking at coming to work for Hackery Construction, you need to be a self-motivated individual, someone who is very task-driven, can make a list for themselves, and wants to better themselves every day. And we want to recruit other people that are like that, that are outgoing, that, are, that, that want to be a, a winner, but want to do it on a good team. And um, if, if you've got that, that personality and that kind of work ethic, you'll fit in fine here. If you want to work at a place that has meaning, 
and value at the end of every day. You feel like you've really accomplished something special at the end of every day. We are a very competitive group of people. We like to win. Our brand is winning. And in our mind, there aren't any more important people than our employees.